It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've been sent some beer from Badger Brewery, Hall and Woodhouse. This is their brand new beer. They've been established since 1777. This is Milk Made, an utterly indulgent milk stout with chocolate, coconut and vanilla notes. It's 5.2% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. They sent me a box of six beers. So I'm gonna be reviewing this today, Friday morning, and I'm gonna be enjoying the rest of the cans on the weekend. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm an independent reviewer. Whether the brewery sends me the beer or not, I am 100% honest with my reviews. And it's the reason why I kind of review beer in the morning. Uh, most industry professionals, brewers, brewery tasting people, will taste beer in the morning. And the reason why they taste beer in the morning is because their palates are on form, they're on fire. It's the best time to taste beer, it's the morning. It's when your tasting palate is working to its best. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. On the pour, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, the liquid looks slightly thin. It gave off a, it gave off a promise, an utterly indulgent milk stout. It's been brewed with, I think this one's been brewed with oats. Where did I see oats? I'm sure I read oats. Um, Maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's lactose. Maybe it's lactose. It's got good head retention. It's got good head retention. Oh, I'm just milk stout. Milk stout. Can you see the little bit of light bleeding through in the corner of the glass here? You can probably, yeah, you can say stout, definitely by the colour, but you could also probably say dark mild. It's looking like a dark mild. Now, Badger have brewed this beer, of course, to get it into the supermarket. Um, they need to get it into the supermarket. It's probably in time and they're probably looking ahead already, it's probably gonna end up in that kind of four for six deal that you pick up in the supermarkets. So they've had to be mindful in what ingredients they use. It's, a, it, it's almost a, a slight shame. It's like they've gone into brewing this beer with one arm tied behind their back, like the, like the head brewer would have loved to have kind of filled it with oats and, and made it really rich and creamy. But the problem, the problem with that is, when you go down that road, the, the, the beer can cost three, four, maybe five pounds a can. So Badger have been mindful here. I, I haven't even tasted the beer yet, but I can see, I can already see what it's gonna be. Looks a little thin. They've had to keep it at that kind of two pound price point. I totally understand that. Let's let's get into it then. Should we? Should we? It, it has got a nice creamy head. Let's get the aroma. It's quite nutty. It's quite rich, nutty, biscuity, roasted malt, chocolate malt coming through. It is slightly lactosey. It has a kind of 
milk chocolatey kind of aroma to it. It smells very good, actually. It smells very good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is remarkably good. I, I take most of what I said back a little bit here because there is a creaminess. There is a richness to the beer. It does have a creamy, rich mouthfeel. It tastes different than, than how it poured. For a relatively large regional brewery, we've all heard of Badger. If you live in the UK, if you've been drinking ales for years, then you know of Badger Brewery. You know of their poacher, their, their golden glory that they used to brew, which was terrific back in the day. The Thirsty Ferret. Thirsty Ferret. What's the other one? Thirsty Ferret and... Oh, there was another one. You've all heard of bad, bad Badger Ales. They, 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 you know, they're relatively solid. They've got pubs all over the kind of the south of the UK. I go to a place in Salisbury called the New Inn in Salisbury. Um, my father-in-law was up the other day when this box of beer was delivered. And he said, oh, yeah, what you got there then? And I opened up the box I showed him and, and I, you know, he would kind of, I, you know, I, you've been there. He said, yeah, I, I used to cut the grass there in the, in the new inn. Um, we might, they might be getting this beer in in the next few months, he said. On cask or keg. So they got they got plenty of pubs around Badger as well. So if you haven't heard of their kind of bottled beers, you've probably drank in their pubs. But anyway, back to the point. This is quite a good effort. This is quite a good effort from a, a regional brewery. I, I'll explain why now. Or should we pull some flavours first? Before we kind of dig deep into that side of things. Let's pull some flavours. I'm picking up some cinder toffee, some creme brulee toffee biscuity kind of flavours. It's chocolatey, it's rich. There's some roasted malt coming through. It's definitely got that kind of milk stout consistency to it, that kind of creamy rich flavour. It's got nice lacing on the glass. You can tell Badger have worked hard, or well, the head brewer of Badger has worked really hard on what kind of budget he's got to produce this beer. So what am I saying? Regional breweries up and down the country, unlike, unlike your small microbreweries, which they, they can they can do what they want, the small micros, because they haven't got an accounts manager. The small micros can just kind of lay out the, um, the incredible amounts of malt into the beer, incredible amounts of oats. They can make it really crisp and rich and creamy and lovely and, and all these wonderful things. But again, you're going to pay that kind of three or four pound a can price for the beer. Regional breweries have a structure. They have marketing teams to make the beer look and sound like this. They have accountants on site to make sure that the brewer's not kind of using six pounds worth of ingredients on a three pound can of beer. 
and, and that's that's the sticking point really for the head brewer is that he'll probably go right i want to make a beer for this amount this amount of money per can per barrel per keg and the accountant will come back with oh can you can you try and chop 50 pence off and, and that's where the head brewer is having a battle he's not having a battle with what he wants to brew. he's having a battle with the accountant and you can taste it in the beer if you let a regional brewer off its leash and let it brew what it wanted to brew then then you would because they employ fabulous brewers they empl employ some of the best qualified brewers anywhere in the UK but they're quite limited in what they can do because of the accountants it almost sounds like I'm being slightly negative with this beer but I'm just giving it as I always give it I always give the truth the main point here is do I like it I think for somebody who likes a darker beer, a mild, a stout, this offers something different. This offers something slightly different from a regular stout. This is not a Guinness by any means. This is this is more rich, creamy, chocolatey, creme brulee. It's pretty decent. You're probably going to pick this up for less than two pound a can. This is going to go into the supermarkets. I'd be surprised if it was two pound a can. But that's okay. That's okay because there are breweries who are selling beer for three pound a can in supermarkets. This undercuts it all by a pound. If I was having a game, if I was if I was sitting in front of my computer playing a playing a few kind of video games like I'm trying to get back into I lost my kind of mojo with it a bit but um, if I was trying to get back into it and had a few hours of gaming then three or four of these would be would be you know relatively perfect it's relatively cheap it's relatively tasty it's pretty okay you know if you're coming from the other side of the market if you're coming from a mindset of I can pay five or six pound for a can of craft beer, then you're probably going to look at it in a different light. But I'm going to rate it for what it is. Milk made. It looks like kind of badger. Uh, oh, it, it's been, I found it. Um, barley, oats, sulfites and lactose. I like it. It probably comes in at under two pound a can, but you can kind of taste that kind of limit. Uh, how how kind of limited it is for that. Um, but it's still it, it's still good value for money. It's still good value for money. I like it enough to give it a seven out of ten. It's a seven out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.